everybody, Sibling Power here, and today I am back with another Minecraft video. And you may judge by the title of this video that this is the beginning of a brand new series. Yes, this is the beginning of a series I'm calling Sibling Power's Redstone Chronicles. Um, uh, and in this video, we will um, be... Um, exploring all the things with redstone. Um, okay, so a quick little explanation. Uh, this series is to increase mine and yours, um, level of redstone knowledge. Um, and it's pretty much, um, based around everything redstone. Uh, so first, the first video here we're going to be looking at is what is redstone. And what is it like associated with? What can you do with it? Well, you can do some pretty cool stuff with it. Um, now, um, f as for citing sources, I can't cite all my sources, unfortunately, because uh, I've established this knowledge over all of my time playing Minecraft. This is like all the knowledge I know from all of my time playing um, about all that is redstone. So I can't cite all the sources because I don't remember half of them. Um, but my subs but the list of channels I'm subscribed to is a good place to start. I know a lot of stuff from those guys who, all the ones who have done Minecraft stuff. And also, um, and also channels like OMG Craft, Seth Bling, and Turtle Derp. Well, not so much Seth Bling. He doesn't show off much, but, um, he just kind of shows what he's built. Not so much how he do it. Um, but anyway, um... So, channels that essentially have, um, done tutorials as well, and also the Minecraft wiki. So, uh, that's pretty much where all of the knowledge that I have comes from. Um, what we're going to be looking at, uh, uh, is our, in our first part, though, is, um, is blocks associated with redstone and redstone powering. Uh, although you may tell by the mystical enchantment table that Tom has joined us in this video. How are you doing, Tom? Uh, stop standing on the table, Tom. Um, anyway, uh, he's going to be observing and taking notes in his mystical book that opens when I walk by it. Oh, the rain hates us. Um, so we're going to go ahead and toggle the downfall. And hopefully that will kill the rain. There we are. Okay. So, uh, first we're going to take a look at the blocks that are, uh, associated with redstone. Uh, and how do you get it? Well, um, how do you get redstone? Well, redstone ore. Uh, in, if you're doing it in survival mode. Or if you're in creative mode, just go to the redstone tab. Um, uh, a lot of redstone stuff is done in creative mode, so redstone tab is a good thing. But if you're doing redstone and stuff in survival, you will need the ore. Um, so, um, the, uh, redstone ore will drop this here, the redstone, you may know that one, um, I hope you know that, uh, if you're watching this tutorial, you're gonna need at least that basic knowledge, uh, and you can craft redstone blocks by putting nine redstone, uh, and these are the blocks, I'm not gonna go over crafting recipes, cause that would take years, um, uh, these are just a list of the blocks, you can find everything on the Minecraft wiki, uh, this is a comparator, redstone comparator, redstone repeater, droppers, dispensers, pistons, sticky pistons, note blocks, doors, um, fence gates, uh, normal pressure plates, weighted pressure plates, daylight sensors, redstone torches, um, tripwire hooks, redstone lamps, buttons, hoppers, trapdoors, command blocks, TNT, uh, levers, trapped chests, slime blocks, and armor stands. And these are all the things that are most commonly associated with the redstone. Uh, there are other things which can be used in redstone stuff that's kind of obscure, but if I was to do that, I'd probably need to, like, build it, like, really long. Um, so these are just all the things commonly associated with redstone. Armor stands are more associated with, like, commands and, like, what you can put in on your uh, commands bar so um yeah you see it there commands um so armor stands are not a common uh, redstone thing but i have seen them used in redstone builds um 
So, um, yeah, first we're going to answer what is redstone. Well, it's Minecraft's source of power, and uh, even before you know that, you're probably going to notice that when you start to mine the ore, uh, and, and if you punch it, walk on it, or right-click it, it starts to glow. That's an indication, it actually puts out light as well. That's an indication that it's a power source. Um, you can't actually get it to stop glowing. It's not like you can just right click it on and off. No, it's it's got to like it'll die down eventually, but it does stop glowing after a few seconds. Um, and that's the first indication that it's a power source. Um, and obviously, yes. Yeah, so you step on it. Uh, if you punch it in survival mode. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much the entirety of what redstone ore is. Now, how do you get redstone power? Well, pretty much the blocks on my inventory um, before this open space here, like so these things over here, uh, are blocks which are capable of outputting power. Probably switch these around. Um, so there's some obvious at power outputters. Let's go ahead and build some redstone strands here. Um, and so there's some obvious blocks which output power, such as the redstone torch, and I forgot to grab a lever. Uh, redstone torches and levers and buttons as well. I'm not going to do buttons, but uh, it's pretty obvious. Those are some things that it's very obvious, and I'll do buttons. What the heck? Uh, there we are, button. Uh, in 1.8, you can put buttons on the ground. Um, so yeah, these are some blocks that put out power. Uh, the reds, the special thing, redstone torches have special uses, but for now, all you need to know, they output power continuously. They never need to be adjusted, and they can't be controlled. Well, they can, but that's for later. Um, uh, levers, easily controlled, on a right click, turns the power on and off, but it can't be affected by redstone. Like, it's not like you can flick a lever by giving the lever power, no. Uh, it, it's just something you have to flick. <laughs> Um, buttons, uh, they can be right click to output power for a few ticks, um, and, uh, that's pretty much the things which are, like, the well-known power outputters. Uh, there's also blocks which people didn't know actually output a signal. Let's go ahead and replace that. Um, so those blocks would actually include redstone blocks. Those actually output a signal. Those can't be adjusted in any way. Like Those aren't like the torches which have like a weird obscure way to adjust them. These literally can't be adjusted. So these are used like with pistons and stuff. Um, you can also output power with a redstone comparator. Now a lot of people don't really know and I'm not so sure about the redstone comparator either. Obviously I'm not saying that I'm redstone genius because I'm not at all. Um, so, yeah, uh, I'm just gonna tell you enough knowledge to get you started with your redstoning. Um, so yeah, um, trap chest also, uh, that, those put out output power. Uh, and these are pretty much the basic items that output power, um, that a lot of people didn't know output power. Redstone comparators have to have something they can scan first. Nope, turn that off. Um, and there's the special thing about it. So redstone comparators, uh, since we've gone over what the redstone blocks out power output is like, you know, let's go ahead and show that it's outputting power. Um, the um, redstone comparator can scan item inventories. If I put stuff in, it begins to output power. It doesn't output a lot of power, so we're going to tell you later how to use these better. Uh, it doesn't output a strong signal, but for now, that's what's needed to be known. And trap chest, when they're opened, output a slight power signal. You may be able to see it just in the corner there down here. You see that the redstone's glowing. They output a small power signal. Uh, and those are pretty much all the blocks that can give you redstone um, signal. Um, now that I've done that, now that I've gone over what is redstone, uh, what are some signaling blocks, um, the next item we're going to go over, oh, I didn't, th I thought this would take longer, I'm sorry, I'm not so sure, um, so the next item we will be going over, um, I think is going to be, okay, so, um, we're going to work on signal extension. There we are, signal extension. So give us these items here. 
Uh, that's good, because that's still related to the signal. Uh, signal, eh, signal extension. Okay, so let's say um, you take, there we are, we'll grab us down, uh, the comparator. Remember how I showed you that the comparator does not output a strong signal uh, at all? Uh, and if, in fact, we want the power to get to the lamp, uh, and we try, and I said it scanned inventories, but it doesn't put out a strong power when stuff's in it. Well, you can actually go ahead and increase this power. Uh, any kind of power level can be increased with what we call a redstone repeater. These have a lot of uses, but their most basic use is to extend power signals. Uh, so as you can see, it grabs the signal from this uh, because this block normally is not powered and it extends it so it makes it reach um, there's also something to know about redstone sorry I'm counting 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 okay um, so redstone power uh, from like normal outputting blocks can only reach a certain amount of blocks I believe this is 15th block, and it can affect this one, but it can't go any further. Hold on. One, two, three, four. Uh, so I think this might be 16, 15. I think this might be, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, um, so the power can only go, it can't go all the way. So this is another use for repeaters, is to make sure the power can reach where you need it to reach. Uh, this is good if you want to blow something up. Um, and you don't want to be close to it, you flick the lever from far away. Um, so yeah, guys, that's pretty much all that needs to be known about redstone signals for now. Uh, all other stuff is a, bit, a little bit more advanced and for later um, episodes. But um, yeah, this is going to be, uh, as you may have guessed from the way I've been speaking, a series revolving around redstone um stuff so uh i guess i hope you have enjoyed the video um and uh like and subscribe if you want to see more videos comment below if you like uh if you want to see more redstone chronicles and um i guess i will see everyone in the next video a uh, goodbye everyone